Today marks 55 years when a remarkable step forward in the U.S. space program happened. It was this week in July 1969 when a human first walked on the moon as the Apollo 11 astronauts landed safely on the lunar surface. And millions around the world watched in wonder, all thanks in part to a young Austin man who was working for the television networks that night. Bob Buckaloo explains. It was remarkable. First, the incredible ground-shaking roar of the mighty Atlas rocket, blasting 239,000 miles into space. Attached to the rocket, a space capsule. Inside, three American astronauts. It made the journey without a hitch, first orbiting around the moon, then landing. Then, that incredible moment in history. For the first time, a human stepped on the surface of the moon. The event gripped the world. It said 650 million people watched that moment on live TV. A moment captured forever thanks to a young TV director who had graduated from UT Austin just a few years before. Bruce Bryant, the young man who pushed the button that brought the world the first live pictures from the surface of the moon. He was working for the TV networks that night from Mission Control. I saw this image, black and white image, and uh, I realized it was uh, uh, the leg of the, of the lunar module. And I said, well, that's a picture from the moon. And so I punched it up. 55 years later, Bryant is still directing live TV programs and making documentary films. The guy who made sure that the whole world was watching the night we walked on the moon. When you take an impossible task and decide you're going to accomplish it, and you put every bit of energy and every bit of know-how, you just might pull it off. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.